Kirsten Drysdale to Health Foods. Goji berries, chia seeds, acai, they're all touted as superfoods and they all come with the same steaming side dish. A hearty helping of bullshit. The pattern goes like this. Someone discovers an ancient food that some exotic tribe's been eating for thousands of years and raves about all the nutrients it contains, using that as evidence of its miraculous weight loss slash anti-aging slash cancer fighting potential. The media goes nuts. There's a new superfood in town. <laughs> Claim it to be a powerful superfood. An ancient food, now a superfruit. Oprah talks about it on her show, supermodels swear by it, and suddenly we're all sprinkling it on our cereal and whizzing it into our smoothies. By the time anyone's had a chance to take a closer look at the science behind a superfood, it's too late to set the record straight because a new fad's taken its place. So we thought it was time to dissect a few case studies. First up, the goji berry. Commonly found dried in powders and juices, the Tibetan goji berry is said to improve your vision, heart health, sleep quality, libido and sexual function. It's also said to treat cancer, stop ageing, fight fatigue, treat depression, extend life and, seriously, promote cheerfulness. One Australian supplier even says not to be surprised if you burst into song or infuse those who surround you with your infectious laughter after eating them. But that's not the reaction we found. OK. Weird. Uh, not too flavoursome. Tastes like nothing. You don't want to sing? Why not? You don't want to burst into infectious laughter? No. It all started with the 2003 book, Goji, the Himalayan Health Secret by Dr Earl Mindell, the man considered the world's leading nutritionist by no one but him. Who is the world's leading nutritionist? Yeah, I have no idea. Don't know. What if I show you his picture? No. It's Dr Earl Mindell. Never heard of him. Never seen that man before in my life. Dr. Earl Mindell. Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know Dr. Earl? No. Maybe that's because Dr. Mindell isn't much of a doctor. His PhD is actually from Pacific Western, the unaccredited sham university in Hawaii, which was closed down in 2006. Nonetheless, Goji Berries got the Oprah seal of approval a year later, and off they went. By the way, Tibetan goji berries aren't just from Tibet. They can be found in many parts of Asia and southeastern Europe. However, the science behind goji berries is far less abundant. In 2010, the University of Basel in Switzerland, a real university, reviewed all the available research on the effect of goji berries on human health, finding a lack of reliable data and no scientific evidence to sustain the claims made for goji juice. Incidentally, one of the studies they reviewed was this one, titled A Randomised, Double-Blind, Placebo-Controlled Clinical Study of the General Effects of a Standardised Lysium Barbarum Goji Juice. Sounds sciencey. There are two views of this study. The University of Basel found it highly questionable, but it did get the big thumbs up from its funders, Free Life International, a sell from home goji juice pyramid scheme fronted by none other than... Hello, I'm Dr. Earl Mandel. Look, goji berries are high in antioxidants, but so are most berries. And if you are goji mad, at least buy them from a traditional Chinese herb shop where they're sold as wolf berries for half the price. Next up, chia. Found in smoothies and baked into bread and sprinkled on salads, the chia seed is said to support heart health, stabilise blood sugar, boost your energy, mood, sleep quality and brain function, has anti-inflammatory properties, clear skin, fights cancer and depression and will cleanse and soothe your colon. That must be why Jennifer Hawkins eats chia seeds on her cereal every day. And she definitely looks like a woman with a soothed colon. Chia seeds first shot to fame with the 2009 book Born to Run about Aztec super athletes. And within three years, it was on Oprah's superfoods list, primarily because of a 2008 study that found eating chia seeds slashed hunger by up to 63%. Impressive results! Until you realise the study was sponsored by Selber Inc, the company that sells the seeds being tested. So you can trust Oprah's study or you can trust this one. Funded by a non-profit organisation and titled Chia Seed Does Not Promote Weight Loss or Alter Disease Risk Factors in Overweight Adults, which found what it says in the title. Oh, come on, choose this one. 
Look, chia seeds do pack a lot of nutrients into a small amount of space, especially omega-3s. And you might think that's worth around $40 a kilo. But if you're already eating well, you probably don't need those extra nutrients. Next up, acai. Available in pulp, juice, powder, or even in vodka, acai berries are said to, well, all the usual stuff. Although, that's a new one. Acai berries were discovered in the Amazon by these guys in 1999. At Sambazan, we're all about Amazon superfoods that deliver next level nutrition. And next level beards. But the real next level you want to get to is Oprah. After it was named the number one superfood on her show in 2005, it only took two years for acai product sales to rocket up to $13.5 million per year, while acai science remained at a steady level of virtually none. Rio Life and BioGlan are happy to point out Acai's many health benefits via their supermodel buddies. But when we asked them to point us to the science behind those claims, well, BioGlan flat out ignored our calls. Rude. Rio Life sent us a list of 39 Acai studies, which is impressive unless you read them. Of those 39 studies, three were just articles, not studies. 17 didn't test the health benefits, they just analysed the nutritional makeup. And three of those looked at how good acai was as a dye. 12 were done in petri dishes or on rats, mice or female flies. Five were market research papers on things like how best to sell acai juice to West Europeans. And a grand total of two were actual studies on the health benefits in human beings. So let's look at those two human studies. The first one found that 12 people had more antioxidants in their blood just two hours after drinking acai as part of a mixed fruit and berry juice full of antioxidants. Convinced? No. 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 The other human study measured higher levels of antioxidants in 11 people after they ate acai pulp and found the same effect after they ate applesauce. Interestingly, when Choice tested super juices, they found there were more antioxidants in a bog standard apple. Can we just stop for a minute? Sure. Can anyone here actually explain to me what antioxidants are? They seem to be the primary source of superpowers for all this stuff. No one? Green tea? Fine. Antioxidants is a general description for the thousands of substances that can stop free radicals, these nasty little buggers that can damage human cells. In the 1990s, scientists started testing whether antioxidants could therefore limit disease and improve health, which led to an explosion of hype before any of those results came in. Unfortunately, the reality has turned out to be somewhat disappointing. The problem is that antioxidants behave differently when they're in test tubes to how they do when they're in the human body. Evidence of their benefits is very limited and specific. So if you're one of the few people at risk of age-related macular degeneration, or if you have skin cancer and low levels of selenium, they might do you some good. As for everyone else... Eating lots of fruits and vegetables and whole grains can help prevent a variety of chronic diseases, but it's very unlikely that eating high doses of antioxidants can do the same thing. In fact, some studies suggest that high doses of antioxidant supplements may actually increase cancer risk. And if that's not good enough for you... We reviewed a decade's worth of research and found that maintaining a healthy weight and cutting down on smoking and drinking are far more important for warding off cancer than consuming extra antioxidants. And that research involved... Over a million people. <gasps> so what does this all mean? Well, there's nothing bad about these foods. They're all perfectly good foods, just like these ones. But there's no such thing as a superfood, just supermarketing. If you take away the fake doctors, the Amazonian hippies and Oprah, all you're left with is paying extra for... Not too flavoursome. And that's a bit hard to swallow. <laughs>